नमस्कार मित्रांनो एकलव्य द मॅथ स्कूल या युट्यूब चॅनलमध्ये आपलं सर्वांचं स्वागत या चॅनलला लाईक शेअर आणि सबस्क्राईब करायला विसरू नका हॅलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर युट्यूब चॅनल एकलव्य द मॅथ स्कूल स्टुडंट्स टुडे वी आर गोईंग टू लर्न सम वर्ड प्रॉब्लेम्स फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट चॅप्टर लिनियर इक्वेशन्स इन टू व्हेरिएबल्स प्रॅक्टिस सेट वन पॉईंट फाईव्ह ऑफ मॅथ्स पार्ट वन स्टँडर्ड टेन सो लेट अस ट्राय टू सिम्प्लिफाय द फर्स्ट एक्झाम्पल फ्रॉम प्रॅक्टिस सेट वन पॉईंट फाईव्ह द एक्झाम्पल इज गिवन ओव्हर द स्क्रीन लुक ॲट द एक्झाम्पल टू नंबर्स डिफर बाय द सम ऑफ द सम ऑफ ट्वाईस ऑफ द स्मॉलर नंबर अँड थ्राईस द ग्रेटर नंबर इज नाईन्टीन फाईन द नंबर्स स्टुडंट्स इन दिस टाइप ऑफ एक्झाम्पल्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हॅव टू कन्सिडर द व्हेरिएबल्स फॉर द टू डिफरंट टर्म्स विच आर गिवन इन द एक्झाम्पल सो विच टू टर्म्स आर मेन्शन हिअर द टू नंबर्स ऑफकोर्स द फर्स्ट कंडिशन दे गिव्ह अस हिअर टू नंबर्स डिफर बाय थ्री इट मीन्स वन स्मॉलर नंबर अँड द अदर वन इज ग्रेटर सो लेट अस अशूम दॅट द स्मॉलर नंबर इज टू सपोज टू बी एक्स and the greater number is supposed to be y now let us consider the conditions what the conditions they gives us here in the example the first one two numbers differ by 3 and the second one sum of twice the smaller number and thrice the greater number is 19 so let us now consider the first condition here what is the first condition two numbers differ by 3 it means if we subtract the smaller number from the greater one the answer will be 3 so by the first condition we can write down the equation here y minus x is equal to 3 that is greater number minus smaller number is equal to 3 then now let us consider the second condition what is the second condition here the second condition is sum of twice the smaller number and thrice the greater number is 90. What is the twice of smaller number? Smaller number is x and of course the twice of x is 2x and thrice the greater number. Greater number is y and thrice of greater number means it will be 3y and sum of these two terms is 19 means the next equation will get here 3y plus 2x is equal to 19. It means 3y is thrice the greater number, 2x means twice the smaller number and sum of these two terms is 19. So students here we get the two equations in two variables that is y minus x is equal to 3 and 3y plus 2x is equal to 19. Now we have to simplify these two equations to get the variables, the values of variables. And first of all, while simplifying the equations, we have to eliminate one of the two variables. Let us consider which variable is easier to eliminate here. So look at the first and the second equation. We can eliminate here x because there is a variable x with opposite signs. But we have to make coefficients equal here. In the second equation, the coefficient of x is 2. So we get we have to get the 2 in the first equation also and we get here by multiplying the first equation by 2. So let us multiply it by 2 by multiplying the first equation by 2 we will get the third equation here that is 2i minus 2x is equal to 6. Now here we get the second and third equation with x variable with same coefficients. 2x, 2x, but the signs are opposite. So, if we have to eliminate 2x, we have to add these two equations. So, let us add second equation in the third one. So, here we get 2y minus 2x is equal to 6 plus 3y plus 2x is equal to 9. Now, 2x, 2x are equal terms, but with opposite signs will get cancelled and the remaining terms will be to the left hand side of the equation will be 
3y plus 2y becomes 5y and to the right hand side 19 plus 6 will be 25 by adding equation 3 and 2. Now, to find out the value of y, we have to take 5 to the right hand side, it will divide the 25. So, equation for y becomes y is equal to 25 upon 5 and by dividing 25 by 5, we will get the value of y that is y is equal to 5. So, here we get the first variable and now to find out the second variable that is the value of x, we have to substitute this value of y in one of the three equations. There are three equations in two variables. So, which one is the easier equation to simplify? Of course, the first equation is easier. So, let us substitute this value in the first equation that is y minus x is equal to 3. So, instead of y by substituting 5, we will get here 5 minus x is equal to 3. Again, to find out the value of x, we have to take 5 to the right hand side, it will get minus and equation for minus x becomes 3 minus 5. Plus 3 minus 5 are the terms with opposite signs will get subtracted here and minus x becomes minus 2. Minus minus sign will get cancelled and the value of x becomes 2. So, here we get the values of both the variables now x and y. But what is x and y? x is smaller number and y is greater number. So, the answer will be smaller number is equal to x is equal to 2 and greater number is equal to y is equal to 5. So, students in this way we can easily simplify the word problems in linear equations in two variables. So, let us try to simplify one more example from the same practice set. The example is over here. Out of 1900 kilometer, we shall travel some distance by bus and some distance by aeroplane. Bus travels with average speed 60 kilometer per hour and the average speed of aeroplane is 700 km per hour. It takes 5 hours to complete the journey, find the distance we shall travel by bus. So, again students, first of all we have to consider two different variables for two different terms which are mentioned in the example. So, which are the two different terms? Of course, we have to consider what they ask us to find out here. They ask us to find the distance travelled by bus, means the two terms will be distance related to bus and the aeroplane. So, let us consider that the distance travelled by bus is equal to x kilometer and the distance travelled by aeroplane is equal to y kilometer. Again, now we are going to consider here the first condition given in the example that is out of 1900 kilometer we shall travel some distance by bus and some distance by aeroplane. The first equation by the first condition will be x plus y is equal to 1900 or 1900. So, in this way here we get the first equation. Now, we have to find out the second equation. For that, let us consider the second condition. What is the second condition? Bus travel with average speed of 60 km per hour and aeroplane travel with average speed of 700 km per hour. And uh, one more information they gives us here that is it takes to 5 hours complete the journey. It means here we have to consider now three different terms. The first one is speed, the second one is of course distance and the third one is the duration that is the time taken to travel the whole journey. So, it means we have to consider the relation between these three terms and that we have learned in the science that is time is equal to distance upon. So, so here we have to consider the distance travelled by bus is of course x and speed of the bus is 60. Then similarly, distance travelled by aeroplane is y and the speed of the aeroplane is 700 and the total duration for the journey is 5 hours. By using the relation between these three terms, 
time, speed and distance, we can write the second equation here that is x upon 60 plus y upon 700 is equal to 5. Means distance upon speed is equal to time. The first term is about the bus, second term is about the aeroplane and the addition of these two terms gives the total time taken by Vishal to complete the journey that is 5 hours. So, first of all now here we have to simplify the second equation in simple form, convert it, we have to convert it into the simple form. So, how can you convert it in simple form? Let us try to complete the cross multiplication. So, here we get the new equation 700x plus 60y upon 42,000 is equal to 5. 42,000 is the product of 60 and 700. Now, again to the left hand side, 42,000 which is in the denominator, we are going to take to the right hand side will come into the numerator and the equation will be 700x plus 60y is equal to 5 into 42,000 and the product of 5 and 42,000 will be 2,10,000. Now, here this equation can be divided by 10 because there is a 0 at unit place of each term. So, let us divide the equation by 10, it will get the new equation 70x plus 6y is equal to 21,000. Now, students here we get the equation in simple form. Now, let us consider the first and the third equation. We have to simplify these two equations to get the variables, the values of variables. So, to find out the value of one of the two variable first, we have to eliminate one variable. So, let us try to eliminate y here. In the first equation, if we have to eliminate y, we have to first equate the coefficients of y. The coefficient of y in the second, third equation is 6. So, if we have to get the 6 in the first equation also, we have to multiply the first equation by 6. So, let us multiply here the first equation by 6 and we will get here new equation that is 6x plus 6y is equal to 11,400. This is equation number 4. And now, third and fourth equation we have to consider to eliminate y. There is a 6y with equal signs in both the equations. So, to eliminate 6y, we have to subtract the third equation from the fourth one. So, we will get here 70x plus 6y is equal to 21,000 and the sign of each term will get changed plus if there is a plus it will convert it into the minus and if there is a minus it will convert it into the plus. But all the three terms are positive. So, all the three terms will get converted with the negative sign and plus 6y minus 6y will get cancelled and the left hand side term becomes minus 64x is equal to minus 900 minus 9600 and the reason of course, subtracting third equation from the fourth one. Now, again we have to find out the value of x, we are going to take 64 to the right hand side, it will divide the right hand side and the equation becomes x is equal to minus 9600 upon minus 64, minus minus sign will get cancelled and the quotient will be that is the value of x will be 150. If you divide 9600 by 164, we will get the answer 150 and that is x means the distance travelled by the bus. So, here we get the answer distance travelled by the bus is 150 kilometer. So, I hope all of you understood very well how to simplify the word problems by using linear equations in two variable. Try to simplify the remaining examples from the same practice set and I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share, subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the notifications of all the new videos. Thank you.